Hey guys, Spooks here, and welcome back to some more Dead by Daylight. Today we are going to begin our Scooby-Doo villains. We only have two. So, hopefully you guys enjoy. First off, we're going to have the Black Knight from the first ever Scooby-Doo episode. What a night for a night. I actually had the VHS tape that had this, and I didn't know it was the first one ever, but it was. So, the whole thing with the Black Knight, supposedly a cursed... Sorry, cursed... When you read old literature, it's cursed. A cursed set of armor that a one of the people who works at the museum is inside of. Okay. One of the people who works at the museum is inside of because they are actually creating forgeries with the art and they're trying to get people to not find that out. So they're trying to scare people away. Now, going off of that, we've got the knight, obviously. Now, his base skin is just pretty much black knight. We do have the frosty eyes on, though, because in What a Night for a Night, the black knight, you can see his eyes. They're, like, bright yellow. Don't have a yellow one, but blue works. Now, for our build, since we are supposed to be a statue, uh, an empty suit of armor, We've got Insidious, so when we stand still for two seconds, our terror radius is just gone. I'm hoping we can use this at some point to trick someone into a false sense of security. Then Overwhelming Presence, so just knowing you are near is enough to disturb your victims, just kind of how Mystery Incorporated were afraid being in the museum because they, know, they knew he was there. And then Hoarder, because you protect what you literally have and are attentive to any disturbance of your stockpiles. Now this one is more so we can be attentive, or he would be attentive to who's coming into his art gallery and who would be finding out that he is a forger, forger. Anyways, territorial imperative, kind of the same thing. He would use very territorial of his secret little lab art studio, I guess, where he was making those forgeries. So I thought it fit pretty good. Now, we do have Crotus Pren. Oh yeah, because it was kind of an old building. It reminded me of a museum. I know it's not a museum. I know that. I know it's an asylum. But work with me. And then we've got Ironworker's Tongs. So when a survivor escapes a guard hunt successfully, they suffer from oblivious for 20 seconds because we don't want them to know where we are because we're just a suit of armor, right? And then Town Watch's Torch, when they escape guard hunts without being hit two times, we gain undetectable for 25 seconds. So I think these are going to work really well in tandem. Now, that being said, I, I'm not great at the night, so don't judge this build off of my abilities. If you guys like this, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you have a build you think works better, drop it there as well. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and hop on in. Oh boy, Auto Haven again. <laughs> Okay, so I've already found a major flaw with this build. And that is there's no gen slowdown at all. Not, not one little bit. I am just getting spanked. Like, good grief. I'm talking two, three gens down before I do get one down. These gens are all pretty close though, which is nice and not usually what you see. I got your number. I like your outfit though, by the way. You're not who I wanted. So this is a problem. <laughs> I don't know where she went. Well, that was convenient. That was a Nia with a flashlight. We gotta keep an eye out. Okay, I'm not be surprised we lost one or two gens right about now. Get her. Yeah, I didn't really leave. 
No, don't get the heal at the hook. Don't get hook heal. Oh, that was enough to scare him away. Now, I hate to tunnel, but I feel like oh, that was good. With this build, I gotta get one person out quick. And unfortunately, that's you. And this gen over here. And that knee is probably gonna finish that gen pretty quick. I thought I heard Dwight. Nah, I'm not gonna chase you. That's fun that you want me to, though. Never chase someone that's telling you to chase them. It's not gonna work out 99% of the time. Ooh, I think I'm too far. Really? Oh, hey! No way! Did you run right there? I thought you were the other Sable. How did I just walk into you? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. I appreciate it. No. No. Thanks. I totally thought I was going after the other Sable. That's pretty darn funny. Oh, both those gens are almost done. I'm fine with this trade. You're more annoying. Do it and you'll get down. Come on, darn it. I don't even know what just happened. Oh, hi. Well, that was something. Oh, they've got two gens over there, like, almost done. I think he's banned that wall. I don't really have time to check right now. I just need to keep going. This is the best I've done thus far, and I really don't want to lose it. Yes, yes, yes. Keep trying for it. Thanks. I somehow lost you before. I'm not going to lose you again. Ooh! Shouldn't have got that one, but I did. Thanks. Oops, a daisy. It's your first, so everyone, everyone's only been hooked once, except for the sable that I inadvertently tunneled the third time. He's going after someone else. That surprises me. What was your plan there, Dwight? Okay. Good job. Oh man, you really got me with that flashlight. Not your best move. smart. <laughs> Have I ever told you that? You're really smart. 
Oh, she just left. Okay. Come here, smarty pants. Buddy, you don't have enough time. She was right behind the hook. I don't really know what you were expecting. But I want you all to die. So Dwight, you can go ahead and chill out there for a minute. I got time. Ah, there you are. Let's do this chase. Man, good chase. Oh! <laughs> please get him, please get him, please get him, please get him. Ah, you got me. Oh, goodness. This took way too long to accomplish, but this was a pretty good match. This guy was kind of annoying, but he knew he was annoying, and I think that was his plan. Oh, no. <laughs> Did I see her? She was just over here, she set off a crow. Hey girlfriend. Fair enough. Can't do it twice though. Okay, let's be done with your tomfoolery. Good night. <laughs> Good night. Oh, I'm so funny. I cracked myself up. So I do think she did run back this way. So I think it's going to be back in that back corner. I don't know. I don't have time to get back there, so I'm not going to go look. Oh, man. It's really convenient that they were very altruistic. Because if not, I'd have lost that a long time ago. They were on so many gems at the same time. Let's see, what do you have? You're not who I want to look at. The two people that I ended up slugging for a second both had Unbreakable. Oh, the irony. Oh, Nia, you were just ready to kind of be a douche, huh? I'm not judging. I've been there. Well, you haven't gone very far, then. Yeah! The whole blinding thing was a bit of a giveaway. Here, I'll catch you. That, okay, that was beautiful. That was absolutely gorgeous. Am I gonna turn this game around? Can I? Can I turn this game around? Please. You ready for this? Oh! 
Oh, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. No, why did you jump up here? Why did you jump up here? There we go. No way. Oh my gosh, can I? Of course she got herself back up. Are you kidding me? But, oh, I have an idea. Ready? We're gonna see if it works. Surprise! Friend. Well, that was our Black Knight build. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I I had some good times and some bad times. It was the best of times. It was the worst of times. But all the times happened. And we finally won. We had to... We had to tunnel. But honestly... I kind of just ran into her. The first time when I went back to the hood, because I figured they were healing. I wanted to get the other Sable that I lost. But then I saw her and I was like, oh. And then the second time, I literally just kind of ran into her. Like, I didn't... I had chased her over by the killer shack. Lost her. I was like, yeah, I guess we'll go back over by this truck. And she was there. So it worked out. Anyways, if you guys have a build you think would work better, let me know down in the comments below. Until next time, stay spooky. Toodles! Toodles!